Hey everyone, my name is Breda Seltzer and I'm a product manager for PagerDuty. And today I'll be talking about our exciting new round robin functionality. The round robin feature allows teams to equitably distribute on-call shift responsibilities amongst different team members. By automatically assigning new incidents ac across different users or on-call schedules on an escalation level, teams can ensure that they're resolving incidents as efficiently and effectively as possible. It also means that by balancing the work workload across multiple users, there's less risk of employee burnout because the workload is shared. So let's take a quick look at what's new. Users can easily enable the round robin feature by creating a new escalation policy or editing an existing escalation policy and checking the box that says users are assigned via round robin on the escalation level. The round robin functionality can be applied to any level of an escalation policy. With a simple green arrow, users can view who is up next in the round robin rotation. In the example screenshot to the left, Alexis from the checkout team schedule has the green arrow, so she would be next in line to be assigned an incident. Each new incident created is sequentially assigned to the users or schedules on an escalation level. The sequence remains the same over time, unless there is a schedule that does not currently have anyone on call. In that case, the round robin assignment will skip that schedule and assign the incident to the next available on-call person. And now let's turn to the product for a quick demo. For this demo, I've navigated to people and then escalation policies. Let's go ahead and create a new escalation policy. I'll name this account EP and start building out the first layer of the escalation. On this layer, I'll combine both a schedule for the account team as well as two individuals, Kimberly, and Noah in this case. Next, we'll click to enable round robin. In this case, each new incident created against the service that this escalation policy is tied to will be assigned sequentially to the users on this layer. So whoever's on call for the account team, for example, would be first up, then the next incident would go to Kimberly and the next incident would go to Noah and so on. Generally, PagerDuty does not advise that users set up only one layer of an escalation policy because we want to ensure that no incident falls through the cracks, meaning that even if the first person on the rotation doesn't respond, there's always a backup to address the issue. However, if you have a use case where an escalation policy only has one layer and it's set to repeat down here at the bottom, then the round robin feature will rotate through different users on that one layer. In the example above, for example, if the person on call for the account team does not acknowledge the incident within a prescribed timeout period, in this case, 30 minutes, that same incident would get reassigned to Kimberly and then to Noah after an additional 30 minutes if not acknowledged. But let's look now at an example of where an escalation policy has multiple layers. So let's add a new layer and add a couple backup engineers, in this case, Alexis, and Craig. On this level, we can also enable the round robin feature to rotate incidents between the two users. So going back to our prior example, where the on-call engineer for the account team did not acknowledge the first incident that came through, that incident would escalate then to Alexis. If the escalation policy is set to repeat again, then if Alexis did not acknowledge that incident, the incident would go back to Kimberly. And that's assuming that no new incidents were created in the time span against the service with this escalation policy. So let's save this new round robin. You can see that these users are now assigned via round robin and associate this escalation policy with a service. So I've recently created an account auth API, and I'm going to go ahead and add this escalation policy to my service. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and create a new incident for this service, and we'll just call this incident one for purposes of this demo. 
And we can see that Margaret, who was the on-call person for the account team, is the first person to receive an incident. If we were to go back to that service, for example, and create incident number two, we will now see that Kimberly, who was second in the first line of rotation, would be assigned that service. And the, the next person would be Noah and so on. So if we return briefly to this escalation policy, you can see right here that Noah is the next up because he has the, the green arrow indicating that uh, he will be next in line to receive uh, the incident that comes against this service and escalation policy. So that's it for today's demo. Appreciate your time and attention, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.